Hey, what's up everybody? Richard Jarrett, Cosmic Wonder, jumping on, giving everybody the big what's up. Hope everybody's been doing all right. If you haven't, get at me. Uh, got a lot of awesome stuff going on. Meeting a lot of awesome people that all love to help out. They're all on board uh, with the power shift, the power movement, uh, all these groups that are really teaching people how to empower themselves in many ways, whether it's the power of thinking, uh, the power of e-commerce, social media, connecting with people from all over the world that, uh, you know, resonate and uh, have their minds ready to uh, accomplish these goals, which, you know, a lot of people are ready to see that awesome, even better world than what we're seeing today. And where we've came in recorded history, it's unbelievable. So don't buy into all that crap you hear that these uh, things pump down your throat because amazing stuff's going on regardless. I'm not saying there's not terrible things that go on and that's part of the reason a lot of manufactured bad things that you see go on it's because of the shift in power because the institutions don't want to lose that grip that they've had on the collective consciousness throughout all this time. And now they're losing it, and, and they're doing every, whatever it takes to, to stay a hold of that stuff. So anyway, if you get a chance, jump on, go to YouTube or Kindle, and look up my main man, Alvin Boyd Kuhn. He was uh, the protege of um, Gerald Massey. He was a big student of him and many other occult workers and um, Egyptologists and researchers like Godfrey Higgins, Hargrave Jennings, Madame Blavatsky, Paracelsus, Van Helmont, just many of them. You can go on and on and on. Um, but they were all in tune, but he was a big researcher in decoding and showing the symbolism and the, uh, the true meanings behind the dark sayings that are in the uh, theological works that we have today, such as the Bible and the <coughs> Quran and the uh, Jewish Talmud and all the Jewish uh, occult books like the Kabbalah, the Zohar. But he, he, those are all references to show you, not only them, but the Nag Hammadi Library, the Deuteronomical books that were left out intentionally. Shows you uh, in these texts and scriptures, we're... You can find the uh, true meanings, piece together, synchronize it, see it throughout history, and really formulate a powerful understanding of what these things are really cueing people into, which is the power of the self and the technology within us when we tap into those higher forms of consciousness. And uh, when that happens, you're seeing a lot of it occur today. Not only with individuals accomplishing unbelievable goals, but individuals really bringing knowledge and helping communities, towns, villages, um, all over the world. So praises to the most dude, praises to the most high for allowing uh, all the cool stuff that's going on. Uh, but Alvin Boyd Kuhn, if you go under Kindle, his books are cheap. If you go on YouTube, you can find some audio ones. And they're really good. They go into uh, all the ancient texts and uh, showing the powerful symbolism contained within. And not only that, he goes into showing how they were mutilated, why they were butchered, who was doing the butchering, which we all know today. But uh, if you check them out, get at me. And if you want to team up, click on links and uh, go through it. Learn the uh, skill set that's changing the world right now. You can work from anywhere in the world team up with awesome people and uh, help others uh, accomplish these these visions uh, that were decimated by the old paradigm system of uh, you know the old schooling and uh, getting a job for somebody else and uh, you know being told what to do the rest of your life until you retire and then by then you're too old to enjoy life and decrepit by all the things that they've been uh, do unto us, <laughs> but it's all changing, guys. So uh, hang on tight and uh, keep pushing through, stay calm, and uh, love one another. So, one love, peace out, guys. Thanks again.